The fish stocks in Kattegat have been sharply declining. When we constructed Anholt offshore wind farm 10 years ago, many boulders on the seabed had to be moved to make way for foundations and cables. But instead of removing them, we chose actually to place them in boulder reefs. Boulder reefs provide optimal breeding and nursery grounds for many species. And we have established 25 reefs consisting of approximately 5,800 boulders at the wind farm. Recently, we had the chance to revisit one of the reefs. And 10 years after installing the boulders, it seems the reefs are doing well. We see a large biomass of ordinary algae, sea anemones, sea stars, and fish like gold sinny wrasse, typical for reef environments. We even see predators like codfish. The biodiversity in boulder reefs is rich. They make up a good breeding and nursery ground for fish and benthic fauna as they provide feeding and hiding places. Ørsted has set the ambition that all new renewable energy projects we commissioned from 2030 onwards should deliver a so-called net positive biodiversity impact, meaning that we take active steps to enhance biodiversity and restore ecosystems. That's why we are testing different methods in pilot projects in the different countries we work in.